Now let me go one step further. Here's one that will look at at first like you can't do anything with it. x squared plus 2x plus 8. Well, the first thing I want to do is complete the square. Leave space, add my 8. Divide this by 2, I get 1, so it's going to be plus 1. If I've, it's really 1 squared, see? If I've added 1, I better subtract 1. OK, that gives me x plus 1 squared minus 1 plus 8 is plus 7. Wait a minute. I can't actually apply this rule because I don't have a difference of two squares. If all you're stuck with is real numbers, you can't factorise this any further. However, if you know about complex numbers, you can actually complete this square like this and then factorise. Because this is, with complex numbers, look, if you don't know complex numbers yet, that's OK. Don't worry about this. If you do, this is what you do x plus 1 squared minus 7i squared. No, sorry, root 7i squared. This squaring the square root will give me 7. Squaring i will give me negative 1, which cancels out this minus and makes it plus. So these two lines are equivalent. OK, then I've got x plus 1 uh, plus root 7i and x plus 1 minus root 7i. And now I have been able to factorise it by using complex numbers. x plus 1 plus root 7i x minus 1, no sorry, x plus 1 minus root 7 i. And notice now they're not merely third conjugates, they're complex conjugates.